What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making the Brown Derby, a classic cocktail I actually don't really like. But you know what? It's perfect, because that gave me an occasion to make a 2.0 version I'm very satisfied with. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, go grab your shaker and let's make some Brown Derby together right now. I always thought that this cocktail was named after the Kentucky Derby. I didn't even know until recently that Derby could mean something else than a race. In this case, it means a kind of hat. So the real story about the Brown Derby cocktail is it was created in the early 1930s at the Vendome Cafe in Hollywood. But although it was created there, it was named after another popular venue of the city, a chain of restaurants called the Brown Derby, which one of them was shaped as a Brown Derby hat. I also believe that soon after the Brown Derby heard about this this recipe, they took it and made it their house cocktail. So to make it, it's very simple. All you have to do is to mix together two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of grapefruit juice, and half an ounce of honey syrup. I think the flavor profile of this cocktail is great, but it's just too sweet for me. I mean, using the grapefruit alone to balance the sweetness of the honey just doesn't cut it. But since I'm always trying to bring in new content, I thought it would be a great idea to tweak the specs a little bit to make something I would enjoy more and something I'm sure you will enjoy as well. My first idea was to make a grapefruit super juice and bump the acidity to balance the sugar. Then I thought to myself, why not adding some layers of flavors and some of my favorite to go with the grapefruit is coriander seeds and pomegranate. So I added some of that into my super juice. So then I thought to myself, why not transforming this into a super cordial? So I mixed the honey with it and there you go, the super confused grapefruit cordial was born. The result was good, the flavors were great, but the super juice is a little too bitter for this recipe, so it was not perfect. And when it's that complicated, it needs to be perfect. So I had to rethink again, and this is when I had the idea, why not making a rectified grapefruit juice? This will be extremely simple, and I'm sure it's gotta be perfect. All you have to do is to mix together, for every 100 ml of grapefruit juice, 2 grams of citric acid. You simply stir until the acid is dissolved and you can bottle it up and there you go. This is how we make a rectified grapefruit juice for the brown derby. So let's give it a try, shall we? For this recipe, all we're gonna need is bourbon, rectified grapefruit juice, and a honey syrup. So first, in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour two ounces of bourbon. One ounce of our rectified grapefruit juice. and a half an ounce of one-to-one -one honey syrup. We're gonna fill the shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Now we can strain the cocktail in a cocktail coop. And garnish it with a grapefruit zest that we're gonna express over the cocktail. And there we go, this is how we make my version of the brown derby. Cheers. Hmm, yes, now I love this cocktail. First thing we get on the nose, beautiful bright notes from the grapefruit, and then the bourbon shines through. On the palate, the bourbon is up front, no doubt about it, it is a bourbon cocktail, and I love it. Then second, we get some grapefruit flavors, heavy grapefruit flavors, that are now perfectly balancing the sweetness from the honey. Speaking of the honey, I use the orange blossom honey, which I love with grapefruit. The floral notes of the honey kind of elevates the floral notes of the grapefruit. This is my opinion. I feel like grapefruit is kind of a floral citrus. So these two things together is amazing. I think it was a great move to rectify the grapefruit juice rather than trying to add some lime or lemon to balance the honey because I think the beauty of the brown derby is the balance in flavors with the heavy dose of grapefruit. So by using lime or lemon, we would lose some of the grapefruit and I think it would just not be as good. So guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm.